Hi friends, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to talk about the fifth episode of Psychology of Success. I am sure you have watched the fourth one, fourth episode that I have done earlier. And thanks to those who have done the beautiful comments, it's really heartwarming. Thanks very much. So, what are we going to talk about? The last time that I left you, it was about goal settings, right? How it's very important to have a definite goal. A lot of people came back to me saying, Neeraj, definitely there is lots of goals out there. But how do we implement it? What is it to be? Because we have a way of doing it. You know, this is what we do. And I feel this is what it is. There's something called a blueprint. You know, there's, 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 a, there's a money blueprint. There's a prosperity blueprint. There's, there's a relationship blueprint. This is what you feel. Now you need to change that blueprint. What is it that you need to do? Do you really need to? You really wanted it, it, right? If, if you really wanted it, I'll definitely give it to you because I got this after a lot of coaching with a lot of great souls across the world. My, my biggest, uh, you know, the learner, the, the guru that I have, the Blair Singer, and you know what a, what a, what a fortune I have. I've got an autograph book of his, and what he writes is about the little voice he always says he always say the little voice the little voice he, he made us do it so many times I've done fantastic programs under him you know sales explosion I actually have learned so much about sales and marketing then we did GBI with Alex fantastic marketing's best so I, I've, I've done so much uh, in terms of learning with these people especially this gentleman is fabulous little voice master you need to read this book it's a fabulous book about how we always feel whenever you know we see a video we read something this is not for me this is for you this is for you to make a change somewhere you need to start otherwise if you're doing the same thing over and over again it's not going to work so now is the time to change yeah now is the time to make a difference and this slide that we say a leader is a coach everybody needs a coach everyone in this will equal I have a coach who helps us in my, in my in my physical you know when I'm going to the gym he helps us in terms of what are the things there so that I I do my my exercises properly and I do my weights properly when I am I'm, 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 I'm doing my business there's a coach it's a business coach who helps me I do it for people but he's the best like you know I'm doing right now a coaching with Alex Manderson he tells us how you to use the internet marketing the digital marketing that we talk of everybody needs a coach every point of life if you don't have a coach you're not accountable if you're an entrepreneur you're doing on your own there's nobody maybe your family doesn't have any accountability so you need a coach to help you take it from one level to another from what you what you what you where you are to where you want to be you know what you want to aspire for so yeah uh, everybody needs a coach and every leader if he becomes a coach it's so easy for you because people would like to work with you people will love to work with you because you are helping them learn all right now this is just a video which you always you know, listen listen to the video everyone needs a coach it doesn't matter whether you're a basketball player a tennis player a gymnast or a bridge player. <laughs> My bridge coach, Sharon Osberg, says there are more pictures of the back of her head than anyone else's in the world. <laughs> Sorry, Sharon. There you go. We all need people who will give us feedback. That's how we improve. We all need a coach. Even Bill Gates says that, right? Even after this many years, you've done a billion, billion dollar empire. He, he says, you need a coach. Everybody needs a coach. So if you don't have one, go get one. And uh, those who have been watching my videos, uh, this is something which I can really request you. If you feel you have entrepreneurs, if you feel you have people who need help in terms of growing the business, just connect it to us. We'll do it for free. My, me and my team are there to help us. We have our own you know, journey, but it's always to give. It's the world. The more you give, the more you get. As I said in the fourth episode, empty your cup. You know, fill it up and give it to people. Give it to people. The more you give, the more you get. It's a universal truth, right? It's a universal truth. Go read so many. The more you give, the more you get. If you keep on holding it, nothing is going to happen. So we're going out free. We we helping corporates. We helping entrepreneurs. 
please do connect if you're there near and dear ones who really need the help in terms of entrepreneurial journey you know i have i have written a lot of books you know as i said i too have had my share of my failures but i put those across based on the inputs that i have got the intellectual entrepreneur you know we can help you get it through all right so coming back to the psychology of success that we've been talk about it's a very good story it's about how um, you know um, monkeys are caught in africa okay and yeah yeah that's very strange i i didn't know that this, this is a concept that they do so what they do is they uh, put a cage and they put some peanuts inside the cage so they got a bunch of monkeys the monkeys flock and in case you see the cage has just got enough to slide your you know hand inside and pick those peanuts right there are lots of fruit around you know by the way there are lots of fruit in the jungle but the monkey sees the peanuts puts his hand inside the cage which has got enough just to you know, slide your hand inside and pick the peanuts out there now when he picks the peanuts his hands are like you know like slightly bigger and if he's trying to pull out of the cage he doesn't able to nahi nikal pa raha hai wo so the, what happens is the monkey when he's not able to do it he starts shouting <laughs> he's he shouting and the monkey as a monkey and the others are also monkey right so all the others also come they also try to pull him away right and the hunter who is waiting for this when there are others monkey out there he just puts the net and catches all the monkey and all the monkeys are then killed and used right so what do we get out of this what is the message from the story the monkey doesn't let go of the peanuts he is holding the peanuts and because of the peanuts he dies this is a beautiful story that i got from one of my gurus and that's why we always say something called a monkey mind my dear what's this monkey mind think about it think about what are you holding on to it what are the things that you're holding on which may lead it to your death death not in the literal sense that of your emotions or who you are right so what i'm asking you is think about what the emotions that you're holding on to it what is the anger you must be holding on anger with someone right you must be holding on to the egos that you have and you 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 just living it on it and you're holding on like potatoes who are now rotten just let it go just let it go the day you let it go you just hold on and just leave of it and then slide out of it life would be wonderful i would really pray whatever you're holding on to it anyone anyone if it's if it's someone you you feel grudge about let it go just pick up the phone and call the person maybe the person is also waiting for you it's our ego who doesn't do it maybe it's about anger about somebody about hatred let it go for once just try this i'm telling you just try letting it letting it go and the world will change it will be a beautiful world and you will feel good about it it just our ego is here you know which holds on ego is good somewhat but many times it doesn't help right so it's a my it's my kind appeal don't be a monkey don't have that monkey mind and get killed in that process just let it go if there are things of material value which is like a lot of you know uh, problems i'm going to talk about that also about how uh, you can let go the big things to get an abundance world is big the universe is big it is just the mind that needs to sync up with that abundance and you can get great results right so monkey mind little voice little voice monkey mind you know those monkey mind is going to create havoc to your life let it go just think about whatever you have holding on the the things that you're holding on just let it go it's going to be a reason for your success it's like you are driving on a road think of a driving on a road when there are no cars there are no potholes there are no red light your your thing would be smooth right now you're holding on to it because of which you're not able to fly those weights are pulling you down as soon as you just throw the weights you're going to fly believe me you can go fly this is all don't don't believe a word i say google it and you find out this is something that the great men dalai mama and the great men that are there they are all of them saying i'm just summarizing it for you just to help you i know a lot of people say well that's that's not possible take your time but think about it that's a food for thought for you let it go you will fly my dear you will fly and you will have a lot of um, you know, success and a lot of great relationship if you just let it go of a once all right moving on 
Yeah, great value and um, you know the, how many people have seen uh, Three Idiots? A lot of people seen it, right? A lot of people like the mo- movie, but didn't implement it. What does what does they say? Bache kabil bano, kabil kamyabi to sali chhat mar ke piche bhagegi, kabil bano. You know, kamyabi to aegi aegi. So a lot of I always tell um, I always tell the entrepreneurs work on your system, create value. Once you create value. Definitely the one you will come whatever it is if you're supposed a teacher or coaching read 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 if you're doing some work work on it make an excellent don't think at this when you're joining you know a lot of we, we, we have a lot of interviews coming up and then we do this interviews then look at we want this we want this amount I said why what is the value that you're going to create once you create the value the people are going to pick you up so create value, Kabil ban, you know, that's more important. So as everybody says Kabil ban, second diagram that you have, you need to flow with the current. You don't try to flow against the current, you know, flow with the current. What is it that you're good at? What is it that you're passionate about? Flow with it. Once you flow with it, you will be able to do much, much better rather than trying to flow against it. You know, flow with the current. See what the universe tells you. Try to be, you know, the best part is I always felt that, you know, in the morning, uh, what we have is be silent. Connect to the universe. If you just take five minutes of silence, connect, you'll get to know your passion. You'll get to know what you're trying to say. So flow with the current. Do what you love and then flow and then you will be, you know, um, successful in your life. दोस्तों उसके लिए इतना जरूर कह सकता हूँ कि मंजिलों को कभी यह ना बताओ मंजिलों को कभी यह ना बताओ कि तुम्हारी तकलीफें कहा है लेकिन तकलीफों को यह जरूर बताओ कि तुम्हारी मंजिलें कहां है अंध अपन अंध अपन लगातार बेचारा यह सब नहीं गलत है हम शरीर से अंध अपन हो गए तो आज इक्कीसवीं सदी में बहुत कुछ करने के लिए है लेकिन एक बार एक बार जो अगर हम मन से अंध अपन हो गए तो सब कुछ खत्म बचपन में फर्स्ट स्टैंडर्ड नर्सरी Bhavesh Bhatia, beautiful person, beautiful, and then you know just heard him. So uh, yeah, he's a blind man, and uh, it's a beautiful, it's a big video. But jo go check Bhavesh Bhatia, the blind person. Even Amir Khan has interviewed him, and uh, Satmeer Jata, he's come in that video, and in in the se- in the serial. Um, if you remember, in the third episode, I showed you about Arunima Sinha, you know, person not having legs. Here I'm introducing to somebody, Bhavesh Bhatia, who is a blind person from birth, and he has made crores of rupees just making candles, and now he employs more than four to five hundred people, blind people, to make candles, and the candles are exported across and are used by a lot of corporates, and they're beautiful and they're very good to use. That. So what I'm trying to tell you is. You know, people who are not having legs, not having back, blind people, they are doing excellent. We have everything. What is it that blocks us? That's all in the mind, as you can see, as you can heard him. In a month, se ab agar apang ho gaye, to zindagi mein kuch nahi pade. The problem that is what we we have is man se man. You know, man man psychology of success that I've been talking about. You know. परिस्थिति वट एवर बट मनस्थिति जो है वो स्ट्रांग होना चाहिए दैट्स वॉट आई ऑलवेज टेल्स यू राइट सो यू डोंट फर्गेट गो टू यू ट्यूब और गो टू गूगल एंड चेक दिस गाय भवेश भाटिया इज अ फंटेस्टिक जेंटलमैन हु टॉक्स अबाउट हाउ यू कैन वर्क कम ऑल द ऑब्स्टिकल इज लाइफ सो फ्रेंड्स आई ऑल्सो वॉन्ट यू आई ऑल्सो रिक्वेस्ट यू टू डू वट एवर इट टेक्स to be the success and whatever i told you in terms of letting go that's a message for this video thanks very much for watching we'll again connect back to you in terms of more episode on psychology of success thank you very much love you bye